I'm Samantha. This is my Chocolate Lab Sadie, and today we're going to be reviewing the Extreme Dog Fence System for you guys. This is one of the absolute most popular models on the market. Um, it's one of the ones that I get asked about all the time. This is the one that I personally have used and uh, trained dogs with for many years. Um, I, I recommend this fence to anybody that's looking for an electronic containment system for their dog. Of course, these fences are not for everyone. They're not for every dog. That's a story for another day. If you want more information on electronic fence systems, containment systems for dogs, um, even the wireless kind, we have tons of information on our website. You can find some links below this video. If you click, there's a link below this video as well to my full extensive written review of this product and there's tons of links in there with some great information. For anybody with questions about these types of systems, other systems similar to this one, pros and cons to each, there is a ton of information. I'm trying to make this video as short and sweet as possible because I know you guys don't want to sit here all day. Um, so let me dive into each part of the system. I'll tell you what it does, how you hook it up, the pros and cons, um, and we'll go over all the details. This fencing system seems a little bit intimidating at first. It certainly did to me. Um, this is the owner's guide that comes with it, and I wanted to show you this because it's got some really great information, and I just wanted to uh, let anybody know that's intimidated by this product the way that I was, um, that it's really not as scary as it looks. Uh, they have this really easy guide for setting everything up. Sorry, it's upside down. Um, so about you know planning your fence layout and selecting your transfer transmitter location, everything from laying out the fence and the wire, testing it before you try it, setting everything up from start to finish. It's a very easy guide to follow. There's plenty of pictures in here to help you. I am certainly not a tech savvy person, uh, but I was able to figure this out really quickly. I will say uh, it took my husband and I together uh, about half a day. We spent an afternoon putting this, installing this fence and hooking everything up. So it's certainly time consuming. Um, but the thing about this fence that people need to realize is you're getting the quality quality of a, an in-ground fence that you would find in companies that come out to your house and install it yourself, those big name companies that cost a lot of money. Um, this is the most similar quality that you'll find in a do-it-yourself product. With that being said, you do have to do it yourself. So what you're going to get with this system, now this is, um, the example I'm showing is the one dog system with 500 feet of fence. So you're gonna get 500 feet of this 14 gauge wire. Um, you're also going to get 50 feet of this 16 gauge twisted wire. Now uh, the twisted wire, Basically what you're going to do is set up the transmitter in your home and you're gonna run the twisted wire from the transmitter out to your boundary line and the twist in the wire um, cancels out the signal. So when your dog crosses back and forth from this twisted wire, he's not going to get a uh, correction. So this can run out to your boundary line, your dog can cross back and forth with no uh, correction. And if you need more of this wire, they, one, you can buy it from a company if you choose. Uh, two, you can twist it yourself Self, and they give you instructions in the owner's manual of how to twist it, how many twists per foot you'll need, things like that. So um, let's start off with the transmitter. So this is the transmitter. This is what it looks like. Um, you can take the cover off and you can see there's three little spaces here um, with screws on them and those are where uh, your twisted wire and your ground wire are gonna go. It's really easy to hook that up. Now this is gonna go somewhere in your home and whoops, drop the cover on the ground so there's a little dirt on there. Um, and this gets attached to your wall, there's screw holes here um, where you attach this to your wall. Now, this goes inside, so you're going to have your AC adapter here, it plugs into the wall. Um, your wires need to go outside, obviously, so you can either run them through a window, which is what we do, or you can drill a hole through your wall, that's up to you. Um, we chose not to do that in our home, but that is something to keep in mind. Now, um, the transmitter has multiple frequency selection to ensure that you your fence works consistently, even if your neighbors have a fence or there are other signal admitting devices in the area. This is what I want to focus on with this product and what you guys need to know is the consistency is 100%. You don't have to worry about consistency with this. Uh, we have used wireless fence systems in the past. We know a lot of people that have. The issue with the wireless fence systems, they're much more convenient, they're much cheaper, however, 
lots of things can interfere with your signal from a neighbor's fence to other signal emitting devices, um, large metal objects, appliances in your home, metal roofing, vehicles out in your driveway can all affect the signal and the consistency of that signal that your dog gets. So with this system, you don't have to worry about that. And that's what I stress because this system is more time consuming and it does cost more, but there are benefits to that. Um, so you get boundary zone width adjustment um, that's completely digital with this. I will, you can just set the different buttons in there. The information's all in your guide again to do that. Um, so because it's digital, you can make extremely precise adjustments. Um, they do have a patented temp and wire check diagnostic feature. And um, you can see uh, that as well, more information about that on our website. Um, but basically it feature, the feature senses and adjusts for temperature and electrical changes that could have a negative effect on the boundary wire. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that there's no battery backup with this. This plugs into your wall, so if you lose power, your fence goes down. Keep that in mind. There is no battery backup. This is the surge protector that comes with it. Um, again, very easy to hook up. You have power on, protection okay, and then align fault. So um, if your wire is buried underground and you have an issue, this is going to notify you. It's also going to protect you from any um, electrical surges uh, to keep your fence from uh, electrical surges and lightning strikes. So it's basically just a way to protect your investment. Um, so you get that as well. Now let's talk about the collar. Um, it's pretty standard as far as electronic collars are concerned. You have the two prongs there. You do get two silicone, uh, sorry, two rubber um, covers and these are conducting rubber covers. So if you're doing a static correction, um, your dog's still gonna feel that with the covers over it, but it just keeps him a little bit more comfortable. The collar also features a digital frequency encoding which eliminates any stray signal interference again from neighbor's fences or any signal emitting devices that might be around the area. Um, this collar, this little the device, not the collar, but the um, device itself, the receiver, weighs only 1.1 ounces, which makes it the one of the smallest and most lightweight available on the market. Uh, this is this system is suitable for dogs weighing 8 to 120 pounds, um, and the reason for that is because it also has eight different settings. You get the um, tone only setting. There are five different static correction level settings and two progressive settings. Now, this is what I like, and this is a unique feature. Uh, that you don't find with a lot of other wireless um, containment systems and even wired containment systems. Um, it has two progressive settings that automatically increase the correction level as your dog gets closer to the boundary. So I'm not going to show you this on our dogs today. They are boundary trained and I'm not going to do that to them um, because that's just not fair to them. So um, I'm just going to explain it to you and, and tell you about our experience. But um, this was really great for uh, training our beagle who is a hunting dog and she had a tendency to leave the yard. The progressive settings were really great for her and that helped us train her. And now our dogs wear these collars and uh, they're on the tone only setting and we haven't had a problem in um, years with our dogs leaving the yard. If you have more than one dog, each collar has its own correction level. The level for each collar is set on the transmitter, not the collar itself. So uh, our Beagle is on a much different setting than our Labrador Retriever because she's so much smaller. Um, you have no buttons, no charging points, nothing on this because it's not rechargeable. Um, this is battery operated. so. There's pluses and minuses to that. Um, a lot of people like recharging so they don't have to replace the battery, but the battery life is two to four months. So you got plenty of time uh, with the battery and you don't have to charge it you know, weekly like you would with a different setting. And because it doesn't have the charging port or anything, any dials, any buttons, anything like that, this is 100% waterproof, which makes it ideal for anybody living on the water. If you have a waterfront home, um, if you have a pond in your yard, really rainy climates, this is going to be uh, a great option. So again, I know this is a lot of information in a really short video. Jump on our website for more detailed information. But um, basically what I want to get through to you guys, you know, consistency is at 100%. That's why we use it. That's why I recommend it. Uh, you don't have to worry about your dogs being corrected when they are in the boundary. You don't have to worry about your dog crossing the boundary without a correction. So consistency is at 100%, which I find to be my number one priority, um, certainly. However, this fence is more expensive and it's much more time consuming than those wireless containment systems. 
Um, so you have to you have to balance that out. You have to balance out your budget and um, certainly the number of dogs you have. If you only have one dog, it's going to be cheaper. Um, the system for the one dog and the 500 feet of wire is about $339 on Amazon right now. It, you can get up to um, a system with up to five dogs and uh, 5,000 feet of wire and that's going to cost you upwards of a thousand dollars so it's certainly not going to fit in everyone's budget um if you guys have questions about the extreme dog fence feel free to email me samantha at topdogtips.com and again be sure that you get on our website to find more detailed information about this product